Welcome to CNR Masterclass. I'm here today at Bone Hill Mill Fishery on Peg 11 on the Donut Lake. Uh, the feature today is going to be winter carp fishing, so I'm just going to run quickly through my baits what I've chose today. The fishing's really hard at the moment, not many fish are being caught, so I'm just going to run through my bait quickly. First of all, I got some two mil expander pellets just blown up. Basically, they've took on all the water, really, really soft. It's important this time of year fish don't want too hard a bait, they want to feel it, take it in nicely. So there's my micro pellets. Again, four mils blown up. I like blown up pellets. You know, they're absolutely perfect this time of year. They all sink, spot on. Again, we've got what works on this lake is some exactly the same expanders, but this time it's 50-50 with some swim stim black. The reason I do that is the bottom is very, very silty. Sometimes if you make a little ball, just just a small ball, put it in short, 11 metres, the carp will uh, come over that. And then again, just got a little tub of expanders there, and I always have enough expanders then. If, if it's a really good session, I've got some more expanders there in a bag, tightly packed, I'll just take them out and put them straight into the water. The other bait on the day is bread. I'm going to dob all the way around my, bed, uh, my peg on the far shelf. Just down the far shelf where the fish run along the far shelf. Hopefully we'll catch a few early carp on that. Um, so that's all me, all me bait. Let's get fishing. really important this time of year now in the winter just to take your time with the fish. Do not rush the fish because every fish counts in the winter. Take your time nice and easy. The fish isn't really doing anything. Take your time. Look for your rollers. Don't rush. You know, these, these fish are decent fish, so you don't need many of them to do a decent weight in the winter. Second time with him. There he is. In the nest safely. waiting winter. Now these, set your time, dob about, these fish are what broaded when you're dobbing about your peg. Right and there's another one. So what I've just done there, we've just had that one before, I've just panned the, the, the lake because obviously I've just got on the same spot, no bite, I've gone to be right, come back to that spot another fish so this seems to be in one area of the peg. So we'll, uh, just take our time again, don't rush. These fish are well worth catching in the winter. A lost fish this time of year is mega mega points so the last thing you want to do is lose a fish. It's a little bit smaller than the first one but they're all welcome on a nice cold winter's day. Like I say, just take your time, don't rush them. Last thing you want to do is rush and lose a fish this time of year. There he is. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful fish for this time of year. Again, a little bit smaller, but we've got a lovely little mirror carp this time. Um, dobbing is an absolutely fantastic method. 
and if you get it right it's so simple these are the sort of fish you can catch uh, this on a winter's day could be mega mega points in a match so obviously take your time dob around your peg don't need to choose too much feed and this will be the result right we've had a great day of fishing we've been on peg 11 on the ditch as you can see I've had around 20 carp for about 40 to 50 pounds with the tactics that I've shown you today you can do this it's cost me one slice of bread all these fish have come from one slice of bread a 6 mil punch size 18 up and you can do this right let's get them back it's been a brilliant day thanks to CNR Masterclass for inviting me to do a video for him uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a few more and thanks to Bone Mill Fishery for me for him to let me do the, the video here brilliant tight lines thanks very much